And welcome to the Bianca Ism Show. Named that because my name is Bianca Ismolovsky and a Bianca Ism. I don't want to say my full name on on the net. It's too long. Do you know what I mean? And a Bianca Ism is just uh it's a way of life, I guess. Who knows? Um cashing in, branding myself, truly. Uh this is my new show. It's on YouTube, so you can see me. Um my brother always told me that I had a face for radio, but I actually believe I have a face for video and you're seeing it in 4K, I think. I don't know. Uh, This new show will basically be me every week, but talking about whatever I want because it's a Bianca-ism. It's my life to do whatever I want. However, I will have co-hosts coming in. I'm not interviewing these people, okay? The show's about me, but these people will be here for me to hang out with. And one guest that I have in with me today is a good friend of mine, Chris Damos. Hello. Hi. Thanks for being here for the first day. I'm so excited. Yeah, no, well, I had to go like wog. We've done the wog aesthetic today. Yeah. Um, it's giving mob wife. <laughs> Which we're allowed to do. We, we can do We that. can do it. Yeah, so I'm Croatian. Chris is I'm Greek. Greek. Yeah. And we invented the culture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. My culture is not your costume. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I'm excited to have Chris here because, uh, uh, Chris, I'm telling you this as if you don't know this. Please tell me. No, please. But I... I feel like we voice note each other so much that actually I hear your voice in my head more than my own at this point. I, I agree. <laughs> you actually, you called me the other night. You yeah. called me. And while you were speaking live in time with me, <laughs> I was like cleaning the dishes because I was like, this is a voice note. <laughs> <laughs> you just blanked out. I you, you, at one point you paused and I was like, I must have something you want. I'm like, oh no, I'm supposed to respond. This is real. This is real time voice note. Yeah, no, 100%. That's another thing. Like I call you. I don't call people generally. Mm. I'm not a caller, but I'm like, sometimes I want the voice note live. You ask permission, which is very nice. I do, yeah. See, always ask permission. Always. Because then you can say no. And I know that you could just not answer, but that's C-U-N-T-Y. Exactly. Don't make me not answer. A lot of people (laughs) make me not answer. Yeah. And then you have to wait a normal amount of times if you were busy. Yeah, to then text and be like, sorry, I missed your call. (laughs) But also I can't answer now, even though I've just texted you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, sorry. I was getting into another movie uh, sorry, immediately. I, I just had five minutes yeah. in between a chiropractic appointment and now I'm going into a three-hour play, Yeah. So, which I am the star of. So I've got to, <laughs> <laughs> I've got to actually put my phone on flight mode. Yes, they have plays at 3 a.m. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you were voice noting me yesterday because for dinner you had – why don't you tell the people what you had for dinner? Oh, a cheese in a packet. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, uh, how do I elaborate? Okay, okay, when you said cheese in a packet at first, I thought you meant craft singles, which I know a lot of people don't like. I fuck with that fake cheese. In the individually wrapped ones, though? Yeah, not often, but like yeah, sometimes. Uh, look, I would never buy them, but if I came across one in a fridge, I'd take oh, one. Of course. Of course. Of course. Do you fold them four times and then eat them as in smaller bits of cheese? I do. What's been lovely uh, today? <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, but you you ate like the pre-made cheese and cracker Cheese mix. and crackers, yeah. yeah. And I was saying it's interesting because I love those cheese and cracker mixes, even though they are ridiculously expensive. So expensive. And actually you sitting here in a double Versace mix <laughs> while also saying that for dinner you get these cheese and cracker mixes in an economic crisis is not a good look. Sometimes you can't <laughs> just not be yourself. I am in crippling debt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you are literally covered in gold. No, hundred percent. This is and this is real gold, and this is Versace. Like I'm like, what do you want me to say? Okay, I've got money. Um, but that's because I work for it. Obviously, you know, we both work. We work. We work exactly, yeah. and we both have like relatively good paying jobs. I think. I think so. I mean, yeah, you're like money, and well, I'm bottom of the barrel. Money. Okay, let's not talk about how much money we've got because no. I feel like we're going <laughs> to alienate. <laughs> No, uh, but yeah, you were saying you're eating these cracker mixes and I'm like, hey, I like those crackers, even though I am fully aware that I could, for the same price, get 17 times the amount if I just made that mix myself. Yeah. Get a pepperoni salami. Oh, you do the ones with the meat in it too. Oh, you just go cheese and cracker, yeah. not even the pepperoni. Oh, you go Oh, I spring for the layer. pepperoni. Oh, I go triple layer. Oh, you are- That's a meal. You, just, you said you had money. You didn't say you had money. <laughs> I like the meat. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, I like the meat. What can I say? But it's not always. Like if I'm on a if I'm on a plane, they love to just give the cheese and cracker one. Yeah. On but for some reason it just tastes better. Like obviously I could get the Ritz, I could get the cheese, I could get the pepperoni, make it myself, but mm. I need it to come in this prepackaged. Yeah. And it's terrible for the environment. Oh, I didn't even think of the environment until just you said that just then. Oh my god, it's horrific for the wallet. Yeah. But why do I do it? Because you deserve it. <laughs> Honestly, are you going to go and buy lumps of cheese mm. and boxes of crackers mm-hmm. and make it yourself? I have. You and, have. And you're right. And I do feel, I feel like a peasant in the field. Whereas when I buy, <laughs> when I buy the box, I'm like, this is a meal for a king. Yeah. Yeah. It's very clever. It's smart. They do be slightly bigger ones now, have you seen? And it's like a cheese board. It comes like a fig paste. <laughs> They bouge it up and oh, like a couple wow. of olives. That would bankrupt me, surely. Oh, that you oh, I shouldn't have told you about it. <laughs> Speaking of olives, yeah. Have you heard hmm. the American Airlines, the airline, took like an olive out of their salads? Mm. Right. They were like, let's do some co- cost cutting. Okay. Took one olive out of their salads. One and olive. And saved like 40 grand a month or something. That's how much olives are in this economy. That's how much many olives. I was like, no one misses that. I love olives. I'm, but I'm not like, excuse me, this salad I've never seen before. Where's my olive? Yeah, who you would? Know? Yeah, that's very interesting. And also, I don't know that I love olives in a salad unless it's a Greek salad. Absolutely. Frankly. Yeah, yeah. Frankly, and I don't care for fruit in salad. Don't oh, put no. citrus salad. Suck citrus my dick. Salad. No, it's not for me. No, I agree. Um, okay, so yeah, Chris is, you know, he's like my bestie and he's here today, but um we, we do voice on each other all the time. And I had to hold off telling you things because I said we have to save it for the podcast. And thank God you won't always be on here every week. <laughs> not that I don't like I'd love to have you, but it's good because I I can't not tell you these things. I know, it's in real time. Yeah. You want this in real time, exactly. of course. So one of the things I wanted to tell you that you have no idea about, um, and for the, the listeners at home, so obviously my DMs are popping off. Do I give the impression of like crazy DM energy? Do you reckon? Getting? Getting. Do you reckon that my DMs would like, do I look like I would be? You know what? Yes. Okay. But also like I'm unfamiliar with the world of sliding into a DM. You've slid in. I slid like once. I'm scared to slide. (laughs) (laughs) But yes, you absolutely are slidable. Yeah, I'm slidable (laughs) and I slide. I slip and slide. Oh, you slide slide too. Oh yeah, I slip and slide. 100%. There is currently a very cute player on Survivor who I've been sliding, sliding. hardcore. Like I'm talking face first on the slip and slide, <laughs> wet and wild, just <laughs> right in there. And like, he's not having it. Um, but I keep trying. Who knows? Persistence is king. But yeah. Unless you're a man hearing this, persistence uh, is not key. Don't Stop. <laughs> even think. <laughs> it's only cute when I do it. Yeah. So, okay. So my DMs. <laughs> pop off right and at this point in time i don't know what's going on in the uk i don't know like how people in the uk find me i don't know what's happening there but i have a number of boys in the dms from the uk okay now i've told you about one of them he's really about a year and a half ago this guy slides into my dms and he's like jesus christ bianca i'm just i've just woken up i'm in london I've just woken up and you've posted this booty pic. How am I supposed to get on with my day? And I was like, who is? (laughs) That's how it started. That's how it started. I was like, who is this? (laughs) So then I start looking at his page, obviously, and I'm like, this guy's hot. And I'd just been dumped by a British guy. So I was like fiending for another British man. And uh, so we start DMing this a year and a half ago at this point, right? Like we've moved to WhatsApp. We've been texting quite a lot. Then he got in a relationship. I got in a relationship. So the DM's cooled down, but he's back yeah. now because his relationship ended. Round and two. Round two. Um, he's like, you've got to come to London. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll come to you. Yeah. Far way to go for a dick appointment. Totally. But I've seen the dick and it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, you know, I'm going uh, to Europe later this year, as are you, um, um, you know. <laughs> live from Lake Como. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, yeah, we're both going to Europe. We both wear Versace. We eat cheese and crackers in the packet. Um, this is we're alienating our audience <laughs> fast, so quickly. So quickly, we're recording this in Brunswick of all places, <laughs> where people shop like at Savers, and we're like, yeah, no. this is from Savers. Play a lot. <laughs> oh 
Yeah, yeah. No, actually, well, I got this for free from a clothes swap. You did, so actually, I did actually. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, more money for crackers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this guy, he's texting me, he's like, come to London. And I'm like, you know what? Actually, I would. Um, he's really cute. And I have a thing for guys with geeky glasses. So what do you want from me, right? Mm. So that's one guy that's in London. Then I've got this other guy that's in London who's been in the DM. I don't even know how it happened. Numero dos. Numero dos at this point. And um, it started off like I, I just saw his things like come up on the feed. And I started following him. He started following me back. And then it was like cute texts. And then it moved to like cute dms and recently i sent him a video of me sucking dick oh. which <laughs> things escalated quickly like he wasn't even on my radar in that way you really do go head first down the sip and slide <laughs> <laughs> you are covered in palm olive you are like i am full. <laughs> you are you have some sort of bungee apparatus <laughs> and you're flung down. No, but that's the thing. I need a bungee. I need to be reined oh, back. back. I need to be pulled back. Yeah, in my mind, it's some sort of release bungee <laughs> that sends you flying. Oh, a slingshot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like, because here's the thing. I was being really flirty with this guy because I thought he was cute, but I also thought he was gay. Okay. And then he said something once and he was like, you know, I'm straight. And I'm like, like, <laughs> wait, 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 what? But what did, you, what did you say? I've had to say the other way. Oh, because right. so many straight chicks are DMing you and you're like, hey, ladies. Stop. <laughs> My God. Um, excuse me. You're you in, know I'm straight. Yeah, you're insatiable. I'm yeah. a gay boy. Uh, yeah. Um, no, what I don't. Did, what did you say? Like, I think, okay. you called him mama repeatedly? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, auntie. No, I think what had happened was, Okay, I don't know if you remember, like, I went on a date with a guy and I was like, this guy is gay. Like, and, but, yes. Right? And, okay, so I went on a date with a guy and he was very effeminate, which is a straight man can be that way. Absolutely, yeah. But, like, things he said on the date, mm. I was like, that's really giving gay. Yeah. Things like, oh, she's oh she's in her independence era. <laughs> yeah. and, um, left no crumbs. Left <laughs> She's eating, yeah. right? Like, I'm nourished. <laughs> he also, at one point, I, I don't know how I got on the topic of Goodfellas, but he was like, were you also so obsessed with, like, handsome Ray Liotta when he was younger? <laughs> so I was like, uh, what is going on, right? Yeah. And I think I was just talking about this being like, I'm so confused. Like, my gaydar must be off. And then this guy was just like, you know, I'm straight. And I was like, I did not know that. But this changes <laughs> but of course. everything. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so surprising. Um what up? And so I, I don't know. I was talking about, I was on my close friend's story talking about, um, a video of me stuck in bed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he said, this video sounds great. And I said, you can see it if you want. And I just sent it. Wow. Which is, I look back on that and I think that was a move. Yeah. But be free. Yeah. Right? One of my friends was like, aren't you worried about this video going viral? And oh, I was yeah. like, I hope it does. Oh, okay. I look hot. Yeah. And I'm doing a good job. You're doing it well. If it was a bad video, I'd be like, oh, I hope no one ever sees yeah. that. But If you like started coughing repeatedly. <laughs> if I'm like gagging that. No, no, no. Imagine sending like... that. You'd love this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're going to love this one. <laughs> this is one in which I vomit on the dick. <laughs> But I swallow it yeah. so he doesn't know. And the script, go, get it, go home, get out, go. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. So anyway, I send this to him and then he's like, wow, if you're ever in London, let me know. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, okay. So I was like, great. I've got two boys now in London. That's great. Like, good to know because I've always wanted to go to the UK. I'm a big Charles Dickens fan. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh, big time. Wait, Charles Dickens didn't write Sherlock Holmes. Or no, that's no. Ian Fleming. No, okay. Ian Fleming is He's James Bond. James Bond. Someone else. Someone. He's yeah. got like initial initial name. They all do. They all do. Not Charles Rowling. Dickens, but oh, we should mention. Oh, them. you come on my <laughs> podcast. I'm just saying it's initial. And you, initial. <laughs> <laughs> you say, what about R.L. Stein? Start with R.L. Goosebumps. <laughs> okay, you know that's literally the last book I read a long, long time ago. I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised. So Charles Dickens. I love Charles Dickens. Okay. I love like English literature. Yeah. Thomas Hardy. Yeah. Old school. Old school stuff. So I want to go, right, and do like a little tour and I guess fuck both of these British guys. But yesterday, mm. okay, 
I get a following notification on Instagram and it already says that I'm following this person. So I'm like, I don't recognize that name, mm. but I'm following them already. So I click on the profile and I'm looking through the profile and I still can't really recognize who it is. And then it dawns on me, it's this rapper who I am like obsessed with. New. Yeah. This Third. Third. Okay. So, so I was like, oh, I'm like a huge fan of this guy's music. I've like sent this song of his to everyone being like, check out this song. Yeah. He was in like my Spotify 2023 wrapped playlist. Really? Yeah. Like I've really played this song. Wow. And he, he starts following me. So I sent him a message and I said, oh, I'm kind of freaking out right now, but I'm a huge fan. Yeah. Please release new music scene. He sends back a voice note. Oh. Not, yeah, not, not a text back, a voice note back. And he was like, you're really cute, not going to lie. <laughs> I was wondering where we'd go with that. That was a, that was a good one. Was I it like good? That. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he was like, you're really hilarious. And so I voice noted him back and we voice noted all day yesterday. And mm. he was like, I'm glad you're divorced, like, because <laughs> it gives me a shot. And I'm like, you have as many shots on goal as you want, bro. Yeah. Like, and so he's like, let me know when you are coming to the UK. He's like, cause I really want to meet you. And now I'm like three, I've got the hat three trick, British. three British and one boys. Of them you love the music of. A hundred percent. Do you, okay. So you yeah. love music. Yes. Okay. He, he's voice noting me about something and it yeah. reminded me of like one of his lyrics. So I literally like wrapped back his lyric to him. I was like, oh, it's kind of like this. Yeah. Like it's like, and and he <laughs> replied and was like, oh, like shit, you really did pump that track. And I'm like, no, I really did. But like imagine getting to in conversation, drop a little Kim line yeah. to little oh, Kim. Oh my God, to little Kim. Oh my God. That's what it's like. That. Is it Kid Cody? <laughs> Is it is British? not. It is Scott Muscutty is not British. Who's the British one that I'm thinking of? Central C? No, no, no. Who sings that earthquake song? There's a British rapper. Dizzy Rascal? Ma it's not Dizzy Rascal. Not <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me just get that right. It's not Central C and it's not Dizzy Rascal. It's not Dave. Um, it's not Stormzy. Okay. Like uh, it's not it's none of them. Now I figure out who it is by omission. Is it one of the big brothers? Remember the big brothers? This is big, bro. Oh, no, take, it's not. And it's the entity I do. I, Sorry. Chris, as if I would be so excited, as if I'd be sending out new flow yeah, by big yeah. brothers being like, hey, you got to check out this track that came out when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking smashing it, bro. It's so good. And the bit you repeated to him was like, this is big, bro. Take it. <laughs> Over the Man. flow. Yeah. How did you know my lyrics? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and pimps. <laughs> 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 Um, oh. But yeah, this is crazy, right? Like That's... three boys in the UK. I don't know what's going on Do over there. Do British men tend to flock to you? You know, I was never really into the British men. I mean, mm. for obvious reasons. <laughs> I don't think I need to get into it. No, I get that. Of course, right? I yeah. was never attracted to them. Like, I like good teeth. And that show Embarrassing Bodies, really. Do you remember oh. that show Embarrassing Bodies? No. There was one person who didn't take their sock off for like 19 <laughs> years. And you're like, oh, <laughs> What do you what come you, on? Were you what they showered in the song? Yes. <laughs> and I, I remember just like, and obviously, and this is a British person. It was a British show. Oh, some of them were like very harrowing things. Like, oh my god, you poor thing, having to yeah. go through this. Like, but like when someone's like, I just have chosen not to take myself <laughs> off for twelve years. And it's kind of like now part of me. I'm actually very impressed by the sock though. That stayed. That good. stayed good for 19 years. I mean, oh, totally. What's the brand of this sock? Well, I'll tell you what, it's not. It's not a Uniqlo sock because they hole up. They're beautiful for one or two wears. Yeah. And then forget about it. I can't wear Uniqlo socks. Uh, my ex girlfriend had very narrow feet, and I lent. She lent me a pair of her socks, and we were like the same size foot, but like my very broad foot was just uncomfortable <laughs> it was like a big ham in a time and, and it was a uniqlo and it was a uniqlo <laughs> i think they've got like because I, I, it's a japanese brand they must have like thin narrow beautiful yeah. feet in japan not my compass <laughs> <laughs> Your croatian compass <laughs> but yeah no i've never really been into british men and then i i slept with one i started sleeping with one and I don't know, the British accent started getting to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had like a really posh voice. It was mm, sexy. Posh. Posh. But he was actually from Birmingham, which uh. 
is not a hot accent. No, is that a bad one? That's Peaky Blinders. Different. Oh, that's that. Okay. That's Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> but he hated the accent, so he worked really hard to, to drop it. To ele- to elocute. Yeah, he yeah. elevated. Um, so he had like a really sexy accent and I kind of became a little bit addicted to it. Yeah. And so then this British boy, like the first one, um, he popped in um, – into the DMs and then when he sends me voice notes, like he'll be like, oh, why don't you be a good girl? And I'm like, or is you're, gonna, you're not getting any scones. Okay, that's not what his voice sounds like. He's very, He's got a very <laughs> sexy voice. Um, but, yeah, one of them is a music producer and then one of them is obviously a rapper and then the other one is a, 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 an actor. So, oh. I, I, yes, I don't know what it is about the UK um, – artistic field but they tend to be into me wow so i've got three it's like my own personal mamma mia you could be <laughs> <laughs> except none of your well your except daddies. None, of them, none of them are i don't want any of them to give me a child no then none of them are my fathers none but they can father. be my daddies exactly. absolutely you're right yeah. uh, this could be maybe you are gonna take the australian route of like huge fame in the uk as oh, a singer. like Holly Valance. Exactly. And then she married like a billionaire. Yeah, she did. She did well for herself. She did well. And I tell you what, mm. m- people might disagree. Kiss Kiss is such a good song. And that's on period. Yeah. It truly I is. Great. It I is. It. Wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> is there a Croatian version? Because there's a Greek version and I think a Lebanese version and a Turkish okay, version. Okay, so Holly Valance not only married a billionaire and made it big in the UK, she's had her music translated into Greek. No, she took it. It was like a Greek song or a Turkish song. And like, and the Greek one goes, I'm a then pistevis. Which means, like, if you don't think about it, kiss, kiss. Wow. Unless I got the words wrong, my Greek is floundering <laughs> at the moment. No, that's amazing. Yeah. We'll, someone will look into that. We'll put that in the show notes about oh, Holly Valance. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, it is a bop. Um, but, yeah, I just, that's just what's up with me. Just, there's that. That's exciting. It is exciting. Thank you. I like you. that for you. Yeah, I, love I like that it. For you. I, no, I love it for me too. Yeah. And so later this year, I'm going to go and ideally bang minimum three men in the UK. Uh, hopefully we can get some hot UK women as well. Yeah. It'd be nice to balance it out. It would literally, to have like the big brothers, because they, they yeah, it was all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Or like steps, like the same amount, you so- know, like. It was S Club. S Club. Or except for the racist one. Um, oh, there was a racist S Clubber. Yeah, yeah. Oh. She was on Big Brother. She was like oh. super racist. Oh. She was like very cancelled. Oh, okay. Do yeah. you think when you go to London, mm. you will be nonstop singing London Bridge by Fergie no matter where you go? That's a great question. And of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course. That's period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I not be? And like, if you went to New York, all you'd be singing is "Wish You Knew Jay Z." One hundred percent. And I'm not even a, fr- a fan of that song. It just would be naturally. It just come would to naturally you. come to me. Exactly. Music is life. Exactly. <laughs> it wouldn't be uh... New York, New York. Yes. Start spreading the news. Have Sinatra. I told you about that wedding? No, tell me. I went to. A, I was. I was the best man at my best friend's wedding. Not the movie. <laughs> I've got moves you've never seen. <laughs> Yeah. God, I love that movie. Such a good one. But I was the best man and they ended the evening. They got a band. I was a mistake. DJ, please. I agree, DJ. Just an aux chord, babe. That's all you need. Literally, that's all you I need. Will ch- I'll change every song. I'll happily go <laughs> Don't up. even worry. I'll do <laughs> yeah, it. I got, I got the playlist. Yeah. And yeah. I know what they like. And 100%. It'll be good. I know how to read a room. A band is like, they're limited. The band is limited. And what, like eight years ago, bands learned how to play Get Lucky by Pharrell. And now that's like the ones. Like, hey, we're gonna got. do something cool now. Yeah, and it's get exactly. Lucky. Get lucky or Uptown Funk. Oh, don't even. Don't even. I I will not abide that no, song. Me I'm sorry. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's, it's not, not cool. good. It's it's giving like Facebook mum, and I can't it explain is. it yeah. any further. No, that's it. Thank You've you. You've done it. Good. Nailed Excellent. It. Good. Brilliant. <laughs> Nailed the brief. But this wedding, I was the best man, so I felt like I had power. I pro- I didn't, but I felt like I was like I am the. No, you Power. Third most important person here. Potentially Third. the most. <laughs> I think the maid of honor beats. I think maid best of man? honor. I think maid of honor takes over best man. And hear me out. It's yeah. because no one gives a shit about the groom. Yeah, true. So true. in the hierarchy of get, it's like it's like bride, yeah, groom, and then bride side maid okay, of honor. Okay, because bride side is more important. Exactly, it's elevated. Fair, fair, yeah, fair. So you were the third most important. Third, well, fourth. Uh, Fourth. Fourth. Unless we think I'm more important than the groom. 
in a way. In a way, in a way kind way, of, yeah. I did the last speech. It was like, you end this. Oh, wow, yeah. You close it. So I went up to the band. It was like 11.55. Mm-hmm. So they're on their last song, clearly. Yeah. And they start playing New York, New York. Mm. And I was like, no. No, no, no. Don't end this, like, young person's wedding. Yeah. At, like, if my... If my Parents were getting remarried. Sure, and a New York, New York. 100%. Right. But also we're not in New York. No, exactly. And is, is that a big wedding song? Mm, New York, no. New York. It's, it's not even like you. come fly with me no. or something. Some, exactly. Something, something romantic. Well, yeah. What's New York about? It's about the city. It's about a love. It's a love story about New York. If Carrie Bradshaw. Carrie Bradshaw. Heard, absolutely. <laughs> oh, honey. Yeah. <laughs> but I went out to the band. I was like, Hi. Best man here. Sorry. I'm number, sure you know me. Number three in charge. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to give you my whole resume, but uh, let's not end this, my best friend's wedding, on New York, New York. Yeah. I was like, it's just something fun. Get the vibe up so we can all go out afterwards. 100%. And I remember, like, the only thing that came to my head was Last Friday Night by Katy Perry. Not the best, but still danceable. Okay, yeah, right? yeah. And I was like, something like that. Just Dance Lady Gaga. Something. something. And he was like, oh, yeah, mate, I got this. And then just straight up ended on New York, New York. And I was like, and you know what happened? Everyone just went home. 100%. Including me via McDonald's. Of course. What a night. Of course, yeah. because no matter how much money you pay per head, the food is never good at a oh, wedding. never. I, I, I'm not a fan. I, and, and you know what? The caterers are doing their best. But yeah. it's hard to make good food for that amount of for people. For that amount of people, exactly. I saw that $7 million wedding that went viral. And I just, oh, 57. I think it was like 57, $57 million wedding. And I just thought, it doesn't look that, meh. I no. bet the food was still shit. It's still just a wedding. It's still just a wedding, yeah. honestly. Uh, I, let me tell you about my New York, New York story. <laughs> I'd never heard that song. Um, right. Except, uh, kind of, I, whatever. But like when I was graduating from primary school. <laughs> She's young, everyone. <laughs> from primary <laughs> school. Um, our, our school like did a performance and the teacher rewrote the lyrics of New York, New York to high school, high school. <laughs> so it was like, start spreading the news. Wait. We're leaving today. Oh. We're gonna <laughs> be a part of it. High school, <laughs> high school. And every time I hear that song, I think of high school. That is... Criminal. It actually kind of works. <laughs> yeah, but that's because I'm putting on a good show. I'm yeah, a showman. You're, you're showman. Do you really yeah. think the other kids in my class are quite as talented as me? I don't think so. <laughs> Those vagabonds, <laughs> you just burst the air. Yeah. And ending with like a jump split. And uh, <laughs> hi, school. <laughs> Yeah, I was a Thank you, Bianca Izmolovsky. <laughs> and her backup dancers, the rest of the graduating class of 2002. Um, yeah, what a time. Okay, so another thing I wanted to talk about, um, which, is, which, is, which is what you were like, oh, this is what you wanted to tell me before we got on air. You were oh, like, yes, I yes. think I know what you're going to yeah, talk about. I'm very excited for this. Okay, so as you know, and maybe the people do or do not know, I'm an SEX worker. Um, that's why I've got the big bugs. Okay. That's why. Okay. Money. <laughs> um, but, but I guess sometimes you get like people are like, what are your weird requests and stuff? And honestly, like I'm not a kink shamer and, uh, whatever, like whatever people do, but I got to live out a dream of mine on Monday. Mm. Two days ago, a guy came in and he said, how do you feel about some like BDSM? which is not really in my wheelhouse. I mean, I'll come right out and say I'm a sub. So for me to mm. dom, that's, you know, new ground for yeah. me. And I've had some clients that do like some a bit of BDSM, whatever, but like it's not what I specialize in. So I, I get very specific. I say, what exactly do you want? And he said, I want you to knee me in the balls. Knee me. Knee. Okay. And he's like lying there naked as he's saying this. And I'm just like looking at the balls from behind. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like I'm thinking of me like on top of him, like I'm laying a carpet. Yeah. Right? That's what <laughs> I've got that those, took like, me a those, moment. <laughs> like things on my yeah. <laughs> Getting under the yeah, skirt yeah. boards. <laughs> like on basketball yeah. when she's laying the carpet, oh, yeah. right? That's what I was thinking. I thought, okay, so I'm just gonna get on top of me. Like I didn't un- I didn't really understand. And I thought, okay, like I guess I could give that a go. It's a bit scary, of course, because I don't want to damage an organ. Yeah. Um Yeah, of course. And and I've and I and it's not even that major. Like I I've 
obviously working in this industry, I follow a lot of pages and listen to a lot of other people talk and like actual dominatrices do some crazy things. Mm. Like there was a girl I saw where she had several clients that were into this where they like boarding, which is where she nails their balls to a board. Wow. Right? So this is child's play. Well, yeah, really, yeah. this is nothing. I mean, oh, and in the world of like kink, this is actually very tame. This is very tame, yeah. right? But I was excited. Be I was a bit nervous, okay, because I'm thinking I don't want to hurt somebody. Yeah. Um, and so you know, I'm massaging him, and then he was like, "Okay, why don't you stand up? Let's do this." So I was like, "Stand!" He wants me to stand up. So he's you're gonna have to watch this on the YouTube. <laughs> on the YouTube, I sound like such a boomer. So I'm standing like holding his shoulders, yeah, and he's like holding my shoulders, yeah. right? So we're kind of like look like we're doing. It's like you're it, you're nine years old at your first slow dance, yes, and you're yes, just yes. you're holding one another's shoulders. It's very awkward, and uh, he's like knee me, and I don't I don't have a lot of. Uh, that's a very awkward thing to knee someone. In that area. In that area yeah. And I don't know how much, you know, so I do like a little knee and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like harder. And I'm like, oh, okay. Cause I've seen men get hit totally. in that area. Yeah. Just a light breeze. Uh, we'll send, we'll send me to the sick bay. Thank <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Cause you would understand. Like, I don't know what yeah. it feels like, but I know that men complain about it. Mm. <laughs> constantly literally like i wouldn't be like oh i've got period pain they're like have you ever been kicked in the nuts and i'm like obviously not but also how often does that happen to you because i get my period pain for several days every month yeah then the nut pain is not common and apparently nut pain is nothing in comparison they've done like pain oh, really? tests and apparently it's oh. more painful to have period pain so really yeah i'm not proving this no, but no, I've I seen it somewhere. But I'm believing it. It was on TikTok. So, okay, yeah. what, I, what do you want me to say? It was a TikTok <laughs> and that's fact. So I knee him and he's like harder. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So I do a couple more knees. And at this point he's like doing the jump back oh. because I've got him a couple of times. Then he goes, why don't you stand back and kick me? Oh. So I'm now there's some distance between us and I'm getting my foot in between his crutch. And that actually kicking it's more than a like, game <laughs> <laughs> literally he was like harder and i'm and and it's hard because like he's just got his legs spread yeah i'm sorry i don't know if you can hear me um he's got his legs spread and i'm just like bah, bah, literally like doing the can can and he was like what he, he he i whacked him he fell over oh my god he keels over in pain i'm like oh my god are you okay and he was like yeah gets up he's like do it again then he said what personally was a real compliment to me. He was like, you have very strong kick. Oh. And I was like, okay, well, like, bend it like Beckham. Bend it like Beckham. Bend it like Beckham. And so, yeah, I kicked him I, a good five minutes this went on. Wow. And I, yeah, and I also kind of was like, and I'm talking like as I'm kicking him like I would be kicking a football, not that I would ever play <laughs> AFL. But like, you know, if I was doing that. Yeah, like that amount of. Vigor gusto, 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 literally, yeah. And several times he fell over. Wow, several times. And you know what? I'm addicted to it. You are, really? Oh, please, yes. I want to do that again and again and again. I got paid to kick someone in the balls. Like yeah. that's joy. That's joy. That's joy for me. Yeah. This is a new like. This is I'm a, new a life. switch now. I think. Is that between sub and? Yeah, sub? I always yeah. was like, no, 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 I'm such a sub, and now I'm like, you know what? I want a dom. This is like you getting a new Cub Scout badge. Ball kicks. Literally ball, ball kinks. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to board someone, but yeah. That, see the thing, like, good on you if you like that, right? 100%. The thing that kind of, I guess the word is worries me about it. Yeah. Is not the pain and not the like liking the pain. I understand liking the pain. You're going to get cut and you're like, yeah, make it hurt. Absolutely right? not. No. A cut. You know, no. sometimes you get a cut and you're like, yeah, if I squeeze A paper it. cut will ruin my life. Oh, no, a paper cut is the worst. I mean, like a. Oh, you mean gash. the. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I like getting spanked mm. and I like it to hurt. So yeah. I, I am aware there is a fine line between <laughs> pleasure and pain. But yes. That was fun. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but so, yeah, the, like pain is a thing that is enjoyable sometimes, really. The, the one with the ball kicks that gets me is I was always told that, I don't know if it's like, young boys are told this to be scared uh -huh. but someone was once you know when you get a towel and you fling roll the towel <laughs> and you flick someone with oh. it 
Someone's balls someone <laughs> flew in, off. No, they flicked in the balls and then they got testicular cancer because of the trauma of the flick. So I was raised to believe that anything like disturbs the balls to a level of pain, that is like you're on your way. Really? I, it might be totally untrue, but that's why when I hear mm. that, I'm just like, oh my. I wonder if there's a TikTok about it that we could get some yeah, real should, research yeah, on that. Yeah, research that. Yeah, interesting. It's a bit of an urban legend. Like, yeah. Is it? It could be totally fabricated, <clears throat> like everything we heard as children, which was lies. Um, <laughs> but, or yeah, no, be. but also, I, like, I do wonder, like, can he have kids if he's getting it's like completely. Traumatized. It's trauma. Yeah. yeah, 100%. But no no shame of the actual act. Absolutely not. You, no, you, do you, it. You do you. I, and you know I, what you want as well. Exactly. It's, not it's hot. It's hot to yeah. know. Like, I ask people all the time, like, what do you like? And they literally just look at me blankly. Like, I. They have no idea. It's like I ask them a math equation. They're mm. like, I don't know. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, it takes time to figure it out for yeah. sure. Like I, I I, like being, I'm submissive in bed because obviously, as I'm sure you can tell, in the real world, in my real life, I'm in control. That's, yeah. When you first told me that, I was like, you. Oh, you were surprised that I'm I submissive? I actually was because you're like, mm, mm, this, Yeah, this, boss this, ass this. bitch. Yeah, yeah. But I like to give away that yeah. in the bedroom because I'm like, you know what? You'd dominate me yeah yeah because no one's dominating me i'm in the top of my game <laughs> every day you know what i mean i need someone to take control so he was obviously taken with me actually and also later in the booking he said to me you are a little freak oh. and i thought okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm not pointing fingers <laughs> It's so kind of cute. No, it was cute. And you know what? He was so sweet. And like, freak. but yeah, he was like, oh, you're a little freak. And I was like, what did I do? I apologize that I'm going to call you a little freak. No, 100%. I told someone now. else this story and they were like several times were like, oh, who's a little freak? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Bruce was like, you little freak. Was, you little freak. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, there's a difference. <laughs> no, there's a difference. Yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, you're a little freaky. And I'm like, you. okay. Uh, but he was like very impressed with my kick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it reminds me of, okay, so when I was in primary school, I was in love with this guy um, named Scott mm -hmm. and he was like obsessed with soccer. Uh, and I say soccer, I say football, but because of Australia, we've got to yeah. say, yeah. So he was obsessed with soccer. Like he was this kid that would like carry the soccer ball with him everywhere. Oh my God, like in a movie. Yeah. Like, like we would be going from like our class to music class, he'd bring the ball. And it's like, Scott, you're not going to be using the ball. You don't need to, the ball is safe in the classroom. You don't need to bring it, but he just had to have it with him at all times. Yeah. Right. And I was in love with him. Um, so obviously I became very interested in soccer. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Right. Like my grandma was a Perth glory member. I would start going to the games with her and um, I, I would be really into it. And I'd be like, grandma, grandma, can you get me some glory merch? <laughs> And so I had like, like, I'm such a little wog kid with like a V-neck glory t-shirt, which I, in short, I wore to school on free dress day. <laughs> and Scott was like, whoa, you go, you go for glory. I'm like, yeah, Scott, I love soccer. <laughs> what? You didn't know? Kick, kick. Yeah. I lo like, I love kicking and goals. I love kicking goals. <laughs> <laughs> I love soccer. Um, and I was a netball girly, um, you know, when we played sport, but because I wanted to spend more time with Scott, I enrolled into the wow. the soccer team for you school. Went undercover. Oh, I did. I was like, you know what? It's about time I started getting my soccer career on on the the go. And I went to a very small school, so it was a mixed soccer team. Yeah. And my brother was on the same team. Oh, okay. okay. And we had like inter school state, like inter schools carnival. And my brother would get home that day. Like, I thought I did a great job at the soccer game. I really, like, I crushed it, I thought, right? And then I got home and my brother was like, you need to go back to playing netball. We don't want you on the soccer team. And I said, John, I scored a goal. So, and he was like, yeah, for the other team. And I, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, oh, I thought any goal goes. Did the ball not go betwixt I was, <laughs> the post? No, I was like, I'm sorry. I got a ball in the net. Okay. I'd like to see you do that. He's like, yeah, I could easily do that for the same, for the other team. Like, that's what you did. And I was like, I had to quit because I thought, well, if John's thinking that, mm. Scott, Scott must have been so pissed. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I'll just go back to netball then. Don't worry about it. But. Obviously, those few terms that I spent in the soccer team is what made me equipped for kicking guys okay. in the nuts at this age. So, <laughs> did you ever get? Did Scott? Did Scott? You ever happen? 
Oh, okay. Let me tell you the story about Scott. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right. I'll tell this story. So I think you know a little bit of this story. So I was in love with Scott, um, but he was dating my best friend, Hayley. Yeah. So I was in love with Scott from like the day I met him. I just thought he was the most gorgeous guy. Um, But he was always in like a on again, off again relationship with my best friend, Hayley. (laughs) And Hayley was a messy bitch. Like she loved drama and she would break up with Scott constantly. Right. Like every other week she'd be ending Scott's relationship with her. And I would be like, Haley, you don't fucking deserve him. Like it, it annoyed me so much. Oh, like, like if he Scott better than you, Haley. Uh, yeah, but more that I was just like, I would never treat him that way if he was my man. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like y- you were onto a good one, hold him down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She was just like throwing, like p- toying with his heart all the time. Um, but I never actually said that to Haley. What I did is I would consistently and repeatedly <laughs> break up with Scott on Haley's behalf. Okay. Known to Haley. Yeah, no, Haley would be like, Bianca, go, you go do, do it. it. Yeah. And I thought I would do anything to spend more time with Scott. And obviously I want to chip away at the fabric of their relationship. Yeah. Give me an opportunity. <laughs> I'm doing it, right? So I, I broke up with Scott so many times that sometimes I would just be approaching him in the playground and he would just be like, oh, what is it this time? <laughs> what did I do this time? And I'm like, come on, Scott, you know, yeah. you didn't share your Dunkaroos. <laughs> How old were you at this time? I was eight. Oh, when I was that young. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, Hayley, you are playing with this man. <laughs> Hayley, you are toying with this boy's heart. Um, so, like, yeah, he, I broke up with him, like, so many times. At one time, Hayley was like, she started getting really cruel with that because there's only so many times you can end someone's relationship yeah. where you then start becoming a bit, like, unique with how do we do it. Mm. And one time she was like, I want you to sing a song to Scott to break up with him. <laughs> And I was like a performing arts kid, if you couldn't tell. And I was like, Haley, I'm not going to just sing a song. Okay. I'm going to create choreo and I'm going to teach it to some of the girls as my backup dancers. And then I'll go and break up with Scott. And so I went up to Scott and I was like, hey, Scott, it's over <laughs> between you and Haley." And when he asked why, the girls and I busted out to Tony Braxton's He Wasn't Man Enough. Beautiful. Which obviously is our song. It's our song. It's yeah. our song. We've bonded over it. It's number one on my Spotify wrapped every, every year. <laughs> every year. Um, it's ironic that we sang it to him because he was nine. Uh, yeah. He was literally not a man. <laughs> like literally, like I don't know what level of traditional masculinity <laughs> was not being met for Haley, yeah. but it wasn't on. And we had to tell Scott, I was like, Scott, you aren't man enough for her. What are you thinking? Do you know about us? But yeah, yeah, yeah. That song also suggests that you used to date Scott. Yeah. And so the dream. The dream, yeah. <laughs> you were living like, right, Scott? <laughs> right, Scott. I'm like, do you know what? Don't judge. Do you know what? Do you know what? what I did to him. But that's not at all what happened. But, okay, so this goes on. Haley and him, they're getting back together. I had some other crushes along the way, yeah. but year seven, Haley is no longer the hottest girl at school. Ooh. I am. Yeah, I've overtaken crown. this girl. This is high school. No, this is year Oh, so in WA, you don't go to high school until year eight okay. at this point in time. Yeah. Now it's changed, but back then, back in the day, you were in it's primary different. school until year seven. Okay. Yeah. So I was in year seven and I was easily the hottest girl. Mind you, there were only six girls in my graduating class. Oh my God, I had one of those schools. Yeah, it was Four girls sport. in mine. It was a little, yeah. it was a little school. And uh, all the boys started, I started getting a lot of attention from boys. Um, this, oh, but yeah, it's because I got my front teeth. I didn't have teeth the whole time. Oh. Every time I was breaking up with Sky, I didn't have teeth. Let me tell you, I I Is lost. Normal? No, it's not. You, I lost my teeth um, at a young age and they just <laughs> didn't come in until like double digits. Wow. Like when you have mozzie bite little prepubescent titties and still don't have your front teeth, that's yeah. an off look. Yeah, you're not really giving much. <laughs> um, okay. It's not. It's it's not a good look. Um, I can't believe earlier in this episode I was making fun of British people for their teeth. <laughs> when you were truthless. When I was a truthless a bitch. <laughs> Longer. Okay. Anyway, so I got my teeth and then I was hot. Yeah. And then Scott came up to me one day and he was like, Bianca, it's you. He's like, I just, I don't know why I didn't see it earlier. Maybe it's because you kept breaking up with me in cruel <laughs> and unusual else. ways. Yeah. And also you didn't have any teeth. And it was girl, a big... good, better back than teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, okay, so I'm excited. This I've waited yeah. years for this. Also, all my sure shanking of like tapping away at their relationship. <laughs> Finally, it's coming to fruition. But then he's like, but as you know, Haley and I are in a very on again, off again relationship. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. currently on. And I don't want to fuck that up. 
So would you mind just being my backup girlfriend until it's over? And I said, excuse me, Uh Scott, like backup. I am a Beyonce. (laughs) Do not treat me like a Kelly. And I, uh, and even though I had waited my whole young life to hear those words, I told him to get fucked. Really? Crash over. I was like, you know what? If you can't recognize a bad bitch on site, Mm. that's on you, Scott. I feel like I would have been like, Scott, I've been waiting for this <laughs> from this, this moment. moment. <laughs> like, as long as I live. I'll be your backup. No, yeah. backup no I said, I said, no, I will not be a backup. You would you have been the backup? Mm. <laughs> it's okay if you would have been. And you're seven. And if he was like the hottest thing, if he was the Henry Cavill of but not problematic Henry Cavill. Looks wise, only Henry Cavill. Okay. Let's get this. Okay. Straight. I didn't know that Henry Cavill was problematic. He's done something. I don't remember what he's done. Oh, okay. But I know we're not allowed to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, I, you know, I, mm. we'll find out what he did and then we'll decide if this stays there. Okay. Yeah. But I don't, I, like, I, I think it was probably a great lesson as a 12 year old to be like, hey, yeah, I deserve better than this. Totally. Um, I've certainly let my standards drop since that moment when it comes to men, but it was good to get one on the board. Yeah. To just be like, you know what? I'm too good for this. And Haley has got married now? Uh, no, Haley actually lives in Melbourne. And I said that story in one of my shows. And yeah. cause she was like, I'm going to come to your show. And I said, Haley, I'm going to be real. I've done a bit about you and I'm not changing your name. And cool with it. And she was, she loved it. She was yeah, like, she was like, I just don't know what it could be. And I was like, oh, Haley, <laughs> just, <laughs> just you wait. And uh, yeah, that was it. Another th- thing that I wanted to talk to you about, and I just feel like we need this to use this platform for good. Yeah. And I feel like this is the right moment to bring this up, mm. but feet. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I immediately regret saying that. <laughs> no, I was like, Chris, we've discussed this in private. Um, not yum. We don't like feet. No. Okay. So I think we've both had some experiences recently in the dating world in which feet have been front and center. Front and center. And it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Absolutely. You tell me your thoughts and what your experience is in this matter. With a foot. With with feet on date. Like how, where's what's your stance? I don't I don't like feet. I've never liked feet. No, good. I've been stories from my youth exemplify. Uh huh. Like my like at, at kindergarten. My oh okay. Like so this, back, this back goes far, back. And I like called my mom like he won't foot paint, and she's like he absolutely will not. <laughs> Foot paint. So they wanted us like put our little little three year old feet in paint, I'm like s- finger painting. Yeah, but and with I your was, feet. And I was like absolutely not <laughs> and i refused and they called my mom mom's like, and your mom was like no won't. of course he won't because that's terrible yeah i'm glad that your family had standards no they knew they knew and then like even like if this is hand related but like mom was like you hated crawling so you learned to walk a month after you learned to crawl and i was like mom i was a baby how did you know that i hated crawling <laughs> she's like because you'd crawl then stop and be like ew and rub your hands together as a 10 month old okay wow so i don't like so the, I had to be on the feet and the feet had to be- So it's extremities. I needed to be on the feet in a shoe. The 100%. feet had to be shoed. Yeah. So I, I just have never loved feet. Okay. I'm not one of those people that walk someone's house and like puts my feet on things. Mm. Like I find that, maybe that's like a wog thing. It's like, cause I don't you know- You respect the house. Yeah. And there's also a, a, a Greek woggy thing that my grandma would always say, like, if you were barefoot, it's like, that's how you get sick. That's how you get sick being barefoot. Yeah. Bringing- yeah. Just like the air on your feet will make you sick. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Croatian thing when you're sick is to put cabbage leaves on your feet. That's a cr- tried and tested. And sleep? Cures you every time. Cures you every time. <laughs> you just sit around with um, your foot in a cabbage leaf. Yeah, cabbage leaf. Sorry, cabbage leaves. You said cabbage leaf. Did I say lettuce leaf? No, cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Cabbage. <laughs> Green cabbage around the feet cures what no else. No matter what's wrong with you. <laughs> You could have a brain tumor and they would be like, get some cabbage on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, have you done the cabbage for (laughs) it? I'm going to be having chemo. No, you tried cabbage. (laughs) So a a head cold, a broken ankle, cabbage. Literally. Okay. Okay. So just, yeah. So I think that's sort of where my like 
feet ick. Foot, yeah, foot ick came from. Okay, perfect. And it's just like it's a general. It's not like a. It's not like a sexual foot ick. It's a life foot ick. Yes, exactly. Like someone I, walked in this room right now and put their foot on the desk. I would puke. Yeah, and, and, and this is the thing. And this is what makes me uncomfortable about summer. Is it's very sandal heavy weather, yeah. and I find it uncomfortable. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Who do you think you are mm. wearing jeans with thongs? It's like I need long pants. Oh, but the feet, the feet are fine. The feet get Thank frostbite. You. That's the one you protect. 100%. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. I can't stand a jean with a. I, I, you know what? I just won't abide by a flip flop. Me neither. I've, I, I own a pair and I've worn them maybe twice. 100%. Like, and I'm from Western Australia. Flip flops are big. Okay. It's hot over there. You can't be wearing a shoe. But we live in Melbourne. Okay. I just don't think that this is really. Totally. Wear a Dunlop Volley to the beach. Thank They're you. They're cheaper They're than cheap. a Havana. At least get us an Adidas slide. Yeah, at least at, have a slide. At, at least a slide. Because that covers enough. But not a Birkenstock. Yeah. Oh. And I would die on that hill. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I don't need to see. I don't, one, I don't want to see your foot. Mm -hmm. Two, I don't want to see the sweaty imprint of where your foot <laughs> once was. Uh, yes. That is a Birkenstock. Yeah. No, I once had a guy come to my house for a date. I hadn't met him, but I was like, you know, just come around. We'll bang. And he rocked up to my house in the middle of winter, Melbourne winter, in shorts and Birkenstocks, mm -hmm. no socks. And I was like, those feet must be icebox. Yeah. And you want to try and get into bed with me with those. Straight out of the berg. Straight out of the berg with borderline gangrene foot, presumably because you're that cold. <laughs> I was like, absolutely not. He asked, I was like, you're going to have to leave. Yeah. I was like, this is just not happening. And he was like, can we cuddle at least for five minutes? And I said, should have thought about that before you walked into my house without a sock. Yeah. And then showed me like the. And in a denim short. A denim short. A long, yeah, babe, don't. I can't. Oh. I can't do. I can't. Short, shorts are beautiful. Mm. You don't do a denim. Unless not a long you, denim. Um, not a long oh, no, no, Like no, a no. stubby denim, a I'll stubby take denim. it. Hello. Especially if you're a hot gay man, please. Yeah. I think what we're saying is anything's fine if you're hot. <laughs> but a Birkenstock. A Birkenstock no. guy, draw the line. Yeah, out, yeah. But yes. So, yeah, look, I think we both have the same thing on feet is that we, I, okay, if I'm going to someone's house for a hookup, mm. here's the thing. I'm going to their house. I'm probably going to have sex with them. Smartly, I will wear a sneaker because then when I take off the shoe, I've still got a sock on. You're, you're socked. And I'm, it's polite mm -hmm. and it's respectful. Cle clean. It's clean. Yeah. I don't, I find it uncomfortable seeing someone's foot. And I, I went to a guy's house recently and he was just shoeless the whole time with pants on. <sighs> yeah, like pantless, shoeless. It... I, I mean, obviously I didn't have sex with him, but it was because I, how could I in those, uh, how could you? All you'd see is the foot, his face would be a foot, <laughs> everything's a foot. I literally had to go like deep within my psyche to be like, you can get through this, look at his face. But as I'm looking at his face, I see these bare and little fleshy mounds at the bottom. This, this, what you're saying is, you know, when someone says something, you're just like, I thought it was just me. No. It's when- you know they're barefoot and you're like, the last thing I want to do is look at that foot and then you're like, I must look at the foot. I'm trying not to. It's like my eyes are up here. Yeah, and it's I'm like a peek to make sure it's real. <laughs> <laughs> like I actually, I actually can't. And I just, I just want to use this platform for good. Yeah. And I want to tell people wear socks. Wear socks. Right. But sometimes someone can wear a sock. And a shoe. Was <laughs> well, that all for 19 years, apparently? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And still get it wrong. Oh, 100%, please. <laughs> I, had a, I had a date uh, about a month ago uh, and <sighs> he wore jeans, blue jeans, with green high top converse. Jean shorts, am I correct? Was it jean shorts? It was shorts. It was yeah, his shorts. legs were out. Yeah. yeah, legs were out. And I just think, no, I green? can't. Green? Are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. You, unless you're doing St. Patrick's Day full Irish look. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Unless you're doing one yellow, one green and going to the Oz Open. Uh, oh, 100%. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The green must be a theme. 100%. It's not your daily green. It's not your daily Give green. Give us today this daily green. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. Like footwear to me is such an important part of why I would sleep with someone. <laughs> and if they rocked up in a green high top converse with a short that I can't go You're with. Out. You're out. If I list some shoes for you. Okay, yes. Would you sleep? say sleep with me? Oh, sleep let's with. do this. Yeah, hot. Let's do it. Do okay. it. Okay. Uh, 
uh, a boat shoe. Absolutely not. <laughs> you say that. Absolutely not. And if there is, a, if it's a sockless bow shoe, com- like you're out of it. Like when yeah. when it's a tight pant, bare ankle yeah. boat shoe, Check I ankle. that's well, I can't. You're done. You're done. Okay. A man's espadrille, but no, I- <laughs> didn't want to hear the but. I cannot with an espadrille. Okay, I. And for those of you that don't know what an espadrille is, that's the one with like the weaving rope yeah, around the bottom. bottom. I, I and I know a lot of girlies love to wear the espadrille wedge, and it's it's it seems to constantly be in fashion. Yeah, no, it's forever. It's perennial. It's for, but why? It's horrible. I think it's because it makes you think you're in capri. You don't get capri from the. It's giving, it's giving Milan. It's giving what, like having a yeah, Aperol, Aperol spritz. spritz. Yeah, it does make you feel like that. A, 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 a what do we even call them? I've totally forgotten. Espadrille. Is yeah, espadrille? espadrille. Espadrille wedge with a big hat. You must balance it. That's my rule for an <laughs> oh, espadrille. Oh, so you like the espadrille? I like this wedge on a senor, senorita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Okay, this is interesting. A wedge. But if, if someone- you were a straight man, would you fuck a woman in an espadrille wedge? Not if she was walking down the street in Brunswick. Okay, yeah. But if she Brunswick. was in Capri. Oh, okay. Honey, I would Thank get you. On if that. you are in Capri <laughs> yeah, that's and the- you're wearing them fine. Yeah. Nice sundress. Totally. Because I would never be in a sundress. But if I was in Capri, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably walk. Yeah. Okay. Context matters. Context. Okay. Probably. Give me another one. Okay. Like a simple, like Adidas Stan Smith. Obviously. Yeah. That Now that I have to fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see that I must. Now, what if it's the version with the three Velcro straps as opposed to the laces? Still would. Yeah. Depends on what it's paired with, but yes, still would. No, I would. Absolutely. Why am I questioning it? Of course. Uh, high top Jordans. Absolutely. Just done. Okay. Done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that. Okay. Give me another one. Because obviously I'm going to focus on Just like, well, then I was going to say low top dunks, but you're obviously all over that. Yeah, I would. Low top dunks. <laughs> um, what about... The uh, the new one that everyone's into. Oh my god, I sound like a boomer. Uh, Adidas Samba. Oh, a samba. yeah, I would. You do. A I, samba? I don't think. I think the only Adidas that I wouldn't go for is like a Yeezy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe I don't know. No like you know those ones that are like they look like they're plastic. The low. Oh, the ones that like suck around the floor. Yeah, I don't think I could. What about an RM Williams? Now I'm glad you brought this up. I, oh my God, this is hard to say. This is actually hard to say because you know how much I love sneakers. Yeah. Like I'm a sneakerhead. When I got married, I said to my husband, you'd be wearing sneakers to the wedding. And he said, of course, everyone was. Really? Yeah. No, I was like, we can't because I actually couldn't see father of the bride. (laughs) Okay. Do you remember? Yeah. I remember that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Martin, right? Yeah, Steve Martin. Wow. I'm glad I brought you in for the up-to-date <laughs> references. <laughs> okay, excellent. Yeah, it's very, okay. Any, all right, so I said, we're sneakers. I once dated a boot guy. Yeah. And that was such an ill period for me. Mm. Like, I was the sickest I've ever been. Cabbage! I was, <laughs> I was the sickest I've ever been. Um, and and here's the thing with the boot as well, because like I and he wore them on the date. It was a walking date. Oh, because it was like COVID times. Yeah, and he rocked up to the walking date in a boot. And this is the thing with the boot and the pants look. Obviously, if you're going to wear a boot, I hope it's with pants, not shorts. Oh but like God. it was, it would tuck in at the back. And mm. I just, I it's it's the equivalent of having toilet paper stuck to your shoe. I'm like, yeah. I can't with this. But yeah, I dated a boot guy for a really long time, and then, and and obviously, like a guy in Air Force Ones is like creme de la creme to yeah, me yeah. right and his friend would dress in very cool like air maxes or whatever and like night hoodies so every time i would see his friend i would go overboard with That's how hot so. he looked i'd be like oh i love those sneakers <laughs> oh those are air maxes yeah i like the sporty look over the af ones like really trying to drive home to him so yeah. then he bought a pair of sneakers and they were like no brand just like from like target yeah babe don't i it was a dark time. Oh, it was a dark time. But it, the boot, the boot man. And there is, listen, you can have, I have a pair of boots. Yeah. They're worn <laughs> seldom, but I have them. Yeah. You've got to have them for some exactly. things. I get that. But the, the, I, when I go to dinner, I wear a boot guy. That guy exists. I wear a boot out. 
That's boots are for out. Boots are for out. Sneakers are for the gym. Sneakers for everything. And thongs are for when it's over 28 degrees and I go out. 100%. What? I- it's the same guy, boot and thong guy. You can't get more different. No, 100%. You're right. Boot and thong guy is the same person. Yeah, it's they, sh- they really should hate each other. No, they really should, but they are the same person. Last shoe. Okay, one more shoe. Like, I don't even know how to describe this, but it's my most ick shoe. Like the laceless Aquila loafer. Like the the I'm the wog special when they go to the races. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. You know I would never fuck anyone in that shoe. <laughs> it's what you You say. know that I would never. It's the, the what's what's that brand? Trenery or no, is that the one? Tarot Cash. Ta- like oh, tarot cash no, I can't I can't with a man in a suit. I can't. Just straight up no suit. <sighs> they it has to be a tailored, really good suit. And, yeah. and it really depends on the context, but you know, I give me a t-shirt and AF ones, baby. I'm good. It's, it's, yeah. That's what I like. Blue jeans. Cause it's the same with women. I like mask women yeah. when they dress in like streetwear. Mm. And then when they like go to an event and they dress up in like a femme look, I'm yeah. like, oh. You can elevate streetwear a bit. You can. Like, I mean, like G Flip was just at the Grammys and looked incredibly hot in yeah. in a really good like streetwear kind of vibe. Like that, that I'd go for. Maybe you don't I don't do know if the they Grammys. did have a hat. No, I don't. Oh, you could. It's the Grammys. You, you can do it. Like, you, know how you can do whatever Grammys. you want. Yeah, it's not the MTV Music Awards. No, though. no. You, yeah, it's not J Lo in the. Where did J Lo wear the Versace, Versace? Was the Grammys? That was the Grammys yeah, with Puff Daddy. She was dating Puff Daddy. Yeah. But my favorite J Lo look is the white Sean John with like the with bandana. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that, that's, that, good. that's who I think of in my head when I'm getting dressed. I'm like, that is exactly how I want to be. It's white, isn't it? It's all white. All white. white jeans. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the Celine Dion backwards? White yeah, I jacket? remember the. You don't think of that? <laughs> no, it doesn't doesn't really spring to mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's not your like. Uh, oh, she was uh, Celine was there. Yeah, Celine was there. No, the I I I like J Lo, Rihanna. Those are my style. Yeah, they're, they're, they're good ones. They're good ones to have. I what think. about you? Who dresses well as a as a man? It's babe. Maybe it's Jayla and Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then they're not out there. Just you know what? I know you love this person, but maybe DJ Khaled in a weird way. You. <laughs> you dare. <laughs> you dare come onto my <laughs> YouTube and podcast show. And and state DJ Khaled as your style. <laughs> you know, I can think of one thing. He loves the Hugo uh, Boss. To, well, no, no, what's that? You haven't seen the video of him being like, "Call me Hugo." Oh no! But he's wearing Hugo Boss. Yeah, he's wearing Hugo. I remember his MTV cribs, and I am a white sneaker boy, <laughs> okay. right? Yeah, I'm a white sock boy. Okay, no, you're saying it now. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, and I'm a white t-shirt boy. <laughs> yeah, no. I get it. Actually, he does have fresh drip. It's fresh. It's, it's clean fresh. It's aesthetic. clean. You're right. Yeah. You're actually blowing my mind right now because I am DJ Khaled. You, you're right though. He does have good style. Yeah. It's just that he's a buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> and and anytime he wears something, he'll be like, "Call me a tennis ball." <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's like, yeah. "Call me velvet poppy in Paris." And you're and I can't actually see past the buffoonery mm. to notice that the clothes and the drip is fresh. It's, yeah. And it's a different, like Pharrell dresses really well. Obviously. Oh, Pharrell dresses like, well. And if I had, if I, you know, was model esque like Pharrell. Yeah. But I'm a DJ Khaled. Through- <laughs> <laughs> I know what I am. You know, I, know, I know my place. Yeah. I'm a DJ Khaled. Yeah. yeah. I'm just screaming at the side of a track. No, you know, yeah. My t shirt. <laughs> we the best. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess on that note, we should end, I think, because what more is there to say once you've said that? There is actually, <laughs> wait, no, there is a male guy that dresses really well, and he's the guy that was from Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. And all I know is that his Instagram at is like Leapfrog or something, but okay. his name is like Lee. He wore shorts to a red carpet and it looked fucking hot with a boot. Oh, uh, if you, some people can do it I'm gonna try and, and it's find. like amazing. I'm actually going to, let's just get this on the air. <laughs> Lee Pace shorts. Lee okay. Pace. He's fucking hot. Okay. This is him at the Met Gala. I don't know how you're going to feel about this. All right. Somehow we'll get this image up, but. um, Yeah, he's doing it well. It's Tom Brown. 
It's a Tom Brown outfit. Like, actually yeah. hot. Yeah. No, that's really good. That is good, right? But, but you know what? He's serving the attitude to wear it. That's true. The glasses, the hair. He's very sexy, actually, this man. Um, that's daddy. That him. That's him. That is a that's that's how I want to look all the time. This is what in my mind when I think of like a man I'd like to fuck. This is what I think of, and yeah. I, devastatingly, I think he's gay. So th- <gasps> there's no, it's no option for me. Pour moi. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can oh have God. velvet puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call me velvet puppy in pottery. <laughs> Well, Chris, thank you so much for coming on here and shooting the shit with me. Thank you for having me as a guest. It has been a pleasure, a literal joy. Oh, it has, hasn't it? it? Has we'll definitely so have to get fun. you back. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> people will be like, "We want Chris," um, but if you do want more Chris, oh, yeah. Chris, why don't you tell the people where they can hear you, see you? Um, I was going to say touch you, but yeah, well, well, depends. Grind up. Um, <laughs> you can see me at the Melbourne. Can I? plug this no i'm asking you to oh. yeah. <laughs> uh at the melbourne international comedy festival i'm doing my debut solo 27th debut of march so- yeah till the 7th is it of really April. your debut debut solo me oh debut Just solo Chris for 50 minutes. wow uh tasma terrace 27th of march or the 7th of april legs in the pool is the name of the show and let me just say chris is a very good comedian he's oh, very very funny his stand-up is excellent you were a raw finalist so state finalist Raw comedy finalist. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finalist. In the state. Does it? Fuck. I'm, but, no, because people hear him be like, he did not. Okay, oh, okay. All <laughs> but right. I got to state, the state finalist. Fin- Victoria okay. State Final, which is like the best of the state. The best finals. of the states, really, let's be honest. Um, And that is high praise from Bianca, as she is literally one of the funniest people I have seen on or off the stage. Chris, thank you so much. But also follow me on Instagram at Le Chris Demos. Le as in the in French. Chris as in my first name. Demos as in my second name. And then also you have a podcast of your own. I do have a podcast, Glow Bitch, it's called. Uh-huh. Um, we're currently fighting to use that name. It's B double I T C H. Currently, but we might be able to fix that. Oh wow. We'll see. We're in we're in negotiations. With who? Apple. <laughs> no, no. Listen, Apple. <laughs> we demand. No, what? But Bianca's been a guest on it and I've been a guest and it was made made that episode truly it was so much fun to be on there with you we do and i truly would be lost without you um all i know is i'm lost sorry (laughs) you don't want to sing delta okay (laughs) i don't know delta you don't know her (laughs) i don't know her i wouldn't i i like behind these innocent eyes that's about as close as it oh because i was born to try so you love delta okay i (laughs) That's the, that's the that's my knowledge on Delta. That's that's all you need to know. But I think no, I would like to. I think we could take it out. Um, oh, with our song. Oh yeah, yeah. A what? Oh, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Okay. Well, yeah. Where are we gonna start from? Dark child. <laughs> the start. Whoa, 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 yeah. Dark child. Listen, Listen girl. girl. <laughs> okay, I go and stream Tony Braxton's. He wasn't man enough from 1999 um, when she invented music and yeah. it's never been what was repeated. before that? New York, New York. High school, high school. <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll be back with new episodes and new co-hosts soon. And you can follow me on Instagram at Bianca Ismolovsky. And yeah, tell your friends. Bye.